engineer 775 here winters winter setting in we're up on top of a mountain up off the Blue Ridge Parkway and it's beautiful and we're uh, working on something that a lot of people ask me about can you run your well pump off of this inverter inverter A or B C whatever but a lot of times their inverters are 115 120 volt inverters and of course 95 percent of well pumps in the United States are single phase 220 volt well pumps, 230 to 220, 240 volt well pumps. So I wanted to show you, we just pulled, this was an easy one because very shallow well, and the well's only 80 foot deep, it's hanging on black poly, and uh, so this isn't your typical well in terms of the depth, but in terms of the pump it is. So here we have a jacuzzi sand handler, 240 volt well pump, standard well pump, nothing special. And this customer wants to be able to run some loads off of um, a solar inverter. So there's a lot of choices. This inverter that they've gone with is 120 volt. And because of that, I am swapping out the existing well pump for a Grunfoss SQ series pump. There's three or four models of the SQ. So don't just put any SQ in there. You got to make sure you know what the total dynamic head is. And that's the distance uh, from the top of the ground down to the top of the water. Now, let's see. We might even get a shot of this here. This is the well. And reflection-wise, I don't know if it'll pick up, but I can see the water. I just don't know if it'll show up on camera. It might not. But anyway, it's at 32 feet. And so 32 foot static, and then the bladder tank is down in the house. Um, so our, the elevation change, we're probably around 25 feet. But then we're pumping up to a 50 PSI pressure switch, which is about 115 to 120 feet. So let's just say our TDH is the addition of those two things, 25 and 120, 145 feet. The um, pump curve for this SQ series pump, it's good for about 196 feet. It's a 10 gallon a minute pump. So I'm well within my pump curve ratings. It's a soft start, so there's no lock-in rotor amps. There's no, uh, it's not gonna beat up the FETs in your inverter. It's gonna start at zero and get up to maybe less than a thousand watts full bore to, to pump water. So that's, that's the swap we're doing today. And then we're gonna go ahead and put a hand pump in afterwards. So we're, we're actually going to use the existing wires. We're going to change the breaker and just wire um, this as a 110 setup. So fairly quick uh, change out, putting a 115 volt pump in your well so that it can run on a different inverter. And in this case, it's going to be running the Solar EMP proof, EMP hardened um, solar generator. And we'll probably put solar in here too. One of the circuits will be this well pump. So it's just probably going to run off 500, 600 watts, zero amperage startup, perfect match for the Solark um, inverter. So that's a good example of uh, one of the inverters I'm talking about. So we're going to go ahead and put this thing together, put this in, and then put the hand pump in so she'll have the ability to run uh, on grid, on solar, and have a hand pump. So three ways to get water out of this well in a pretty remote location, so they lose power quite often. Great solution. Let me know what you think.